Hello, anybody that wants to kill us in here? The underground here is absolutely terrifying. This is literally Steve the Clown's jacket, you guys. Steve the Clown? Steve the Clown literally have the same outfit. Yo, there's a possibility Steve the Clown, that piece of shit, is in that other abandoned house. What's up, Sergeants? Welcome back to a late night abandoned haunted farm investigation slash explore. Very excited about this one because I haven't done an abandoned farm in a very long while. Besides the one that I slept in and got thrown off the second floor, but that's a different story. This one is completely far away from where that is. I'm on the other side of Canada right now, about to go and explore this Victorian farmhouse with Carlo. This place is full of mosquitoes, is eating me alive. Smash the like button, let's go inside and check this place out. Unlike a lot of the abandoned places I've been going to, this one is actually right off a main road, so it might be better that it's not like in the middle of nowhere. We can make a quick getaway if we have to, but look at this place. It is freaking creepy. Now this is the farm part. We actually want to go check out the Victorian, which is right there. It's abandoned, obviously. That's abandoned. And apparently the same property has another house somewhere in the back. So we got a lot of exploring to do today. But right off the get-go, this place reminds me of Jeepers Creepers the movie. If you guys remember that movie. Oh, that isn't creepy. Not one bit. All right, guys. As you can see, the haunted abandoned Victorian is right here. This place is ancient. Completely boarded off. So I wonder if there's anything inside of this thing. Right, so we decided we're not gonna go into the Victorian first. We're gonna go and check out these barns, see what's inside of them before we make it into this big Victorian. Now we believe there might be a squatter in there because we actually went up to the porch. Doors wide open, or the windows wide open, but there's a whole bunch of stuff to indicate that there's a squatter living inside. So we're gonna give it some time. I knocked on the door. I yelled in there to see if anybody's in there. No one's answered, so hopefully no one is actually in there. So we're gonna give it some time, go explore the farm or the barn, and then come back to the Victorian. All right, this feels like an old school most RG adventure, if you ask me. Haunted barns everywhere. Or I shouldn't say haunted, abandoned, I mean. And the vibes, the sounds, freaking terrifying. Ontario High School English Grammar. Interesting. There's a mattress in here. So it's like everywhere we've been going, we've been finding like evidence of squatters. In like almost every abandoned spot that we've been going to. Well, this looks pretty empty, so I'm going to skip it and move on to the other ones. Making our way into this creepy farm, or barn, I should say. This is a really big one, one of the biggest barns I've seen ever. Gotta watch out where we walk. Man, I'm so nervous. Cool, there's like a downstairs area. Yeah, we definitely got to watch out where the floor is, Carlo. Yeah. There's like some holes in the floor. Is it definitely smells like they had cows in here at some point in time. And they were probably downstairs, to be honest. Because the smell is getting worse. Blech. Oh yeah, it smells like poopy down there. Lots of cow poop. Pictures of cows on them. But there's another side to the farm right there. Gotta walk the dangerous plank over here. Whoa. That's a big... Spider. Yo, this is creepy. Did I just hear somebody say hello? Hello? Thought I just heard somebody say hello. Wow. This is a freaking huge barn, man. The hay might be concealing like a an underground pit or something. Kind of like this. Ooh, I want to get down there and see what's down there. Yeah, guys, we tried to get into the house. Everything is boarded up, every window, except one tiny window in the front. Wide open. We're kind of like building up the uh, courage to get in there because there might be a homeless guy in there. Might be a, a druggie in there. I don't know. There's a lot of evidence on the front porch to indicate that there is someone there. Hopefully, they were there a long time ago and they left, but you just never know. Man, if you guys have cows that need some hay, there's literally mountains of it here. I've never been to a farm that had a mountain of hay left behind. One little freaking lighter. Let's set this place on fire. Like, I want to try to climb this mountain. Never climbed a hay mountain before. Whoa. 
That is cool. Well, I guess if you want to sleep somewhere, this could be a good spot. Like if you were like a homeless person and you needed a place to sleep. Right, Carlo? What? This would be a comfortable place to sleep if you were homeless. Well, not you in general, because you're scared of everything. But I'm saying like, like if you were legit homeless and you wanted a place to sleep, sleep right at the top. No reason for me to be up here, but I have to make it to the top. <laughs> What's out here? We got more silos out the back there. Well, it definitely looks like something was living up here because there's a lot of poop in this area. A lot of poop. All right, so we somehow transported ourselves to the bottom of the barn here. There's a lot of shit left behind. Holy moly. Doesn't smell like poop though, which is good. But look at all these old Coca-Cola bottles. And they're all glass. Dude, what the hell were they doing here? <gasps> There's like a mouse over there. Just walking on the walls. You guys see that little mouse? You probably can't see it. This is the, where they used to milk cows most likely. Wow. Yeah, this is the first barn that I've been to that has this much stuff in it. A lot of hay, a lot of things left behind. These guys abandoned this place and just did not care, I guess. This must have been where they kept the cows. Dude, there was a room full of giant glass Coca-Cola bottles. Like two liters, but made of glass. Really? Look, look that's 1950s stuff. And that's the milking room where they used to milk the cows. Whoa. So above us is exactly where we were just at, if you guys remember. The hay room. The big hay room up there. And down here is where the cattle was. Got a door wide open over here that goes I don't know where. Somewhere. I don't know about you guys, but this place gives me the heebie-jeebies, man. You guys might not see my face too much in this video because I, I just don't want to blind myself with my flashlight. I want to be able to see where the hell I'm walking. This place is like a hazard on its own. It's a hazard in the daytime, let alone at nighttime. Who else is giving you guys content at night? Nobody. I thought I just heard a piano. What the f***? Yo? Did you just find a piano? What? Did you find a piano? No. Oh, I just heard a piano. Really? Yeah, like an actual piano going off. I got it on camera for sure. That was terrifying. Where the hell does a piano sound come from? Where the hell does a piano sound come from, man? Oh, it smells like shit in here. Like actual poop. Man, respect the farmers. How do they do it? Like, that's nasty. Yeah, this is the poop farm. I call this the poop farm. For some reason, the smell's not here, but over there. Oh my. Have fun with the poop over there. Why? It smells like shit everywhere. This is the poop farm. This barn is way bigger than the top. No, the top is bigger. It seems like this one's longer. <laughs> Little alleyways, but the top was huge, dude. Square footage, man. Some good realty up there. This looks like it was the office. Check it out. Oh, there's a staircase that goes outside. Whoa, this is the office? No fucking way. Do you guys recognize that? I know I do. This better not be yours. I think it belongs to you. Bro. Bro, what? This is crazy. Bro, Steve the Clown? Steve the Clown literally had the same outfit. Bro, what is this guy's here now? Yo, this is literally... This is literally Steve the Clown's jacket, you guys. It must be. Dude, look at the holes in it. This is when I shot him with a bow and arrow. This is that one. Yeah, and there's like a, a hint of blood on it. And there's a hole in it. What the f***? Bro, this is crazy. This is literally Steve the Clown's jacket. 
I am nowhere near where my ex abandoned house used to be. I'm five hours away in Ontario and I just found this in a freaking barn. This is literally the jacket, it's the same one. It's got the holes in the abdomen where I shot him with a freaking bow and arrow, which I got on camera, which you guys saw that. It looks a bit reddish here. I cannot believe this, I am freaking out right now. What if he's here? Oh my God. What if Steve's a, what? I heard that beeping again. You heard a beeping? Yeah, beeping. I don't hear anything, just like cars driving by. Bro, you don't even know the significance of this jacket. I'm freaking out even more now. What if he's the guy staying in that abandoned house? Could be. Oh my God. Yo, there's a possibility Steve the Clown, that piece of shit, is in that other abandoned house. Like, far-fetched maybe, but anything's possible on these videos, man. All right, so we made it to the second house that's on this property. There's two houses. I guess one belonged to the main family and the other one belonged to guests, maybe. This might be the guest house. As you guys can see, it is abandoned as well. So let's see if we can get into this place. Doors wide open. This place is creepy looking. <laughs> you ready to go in? I don't know if there's gonna be any homeless guys in this one, but there's a bottle here. That's an indication. The place is completely bordered in. There's only one way in and out. You know what? I'm gonna carry this for safety. Or you know what? I'll carry a bigger one for safety. How about that? Hello? This is creepy. Hello, anyone here? Whoa. This place is pretty cool. This is so creepy. So this is not the Victorian we came here to see. But this looks pretty cool. Look at these doors, the arches, the staircase. Pretty insane, right? At least we made it in finally. It's getting mosquito -y out there. Hello, anybody that wants to kill us in here? These stairs are pretty beautiful. It's like a little mansion. I'm so worried that there's gonna be somebody like lurking. Oh man. They destroyed the toilet. I wanted to take a dump in here. All right, I don't think there's gonna be anybody in here. This house reminds me of something, oh my God. This house, come here, come tell me over here what this reminds you of. Cause this is identical to something we filmed together a long time ago. Uh, either the train house or that crack house in where we found the drugs, the fentanyl and stuff. I can't see what town it was in. The house that got torn down? No. Well, this is the house that got torn down, the drug dealer's house. You remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Remember when you called me up at 3 a.m. and you were like, yeah. come drive to yeah, me? Yeah. There's a house that's gonna be torn down the next day so you come yeah. film it. Yeah. And I did, and I got millions of views on it. This is identical almost to that house. Cool. It's very similar, right? Yeah. Pretty amazing. The arches are pretty cool, guys. I'm eager to see what's inside the Victorian house, though. This house is old, but not as old as the other one. Oh, is that a secret staircase? The hell, this looks like an old staircase of some sort. Whoa. I mean, this house has definitely been stripped by thieves, right? Like they've stolen the wires, the copper, all to make 50 cents. They tore down everything. They broke the windows. What? What? Carlos freaking out, he heard a thump. This is cool, it's like a, a game room here. Kind of like a hall. I think I'm starting to build up the courage to go into the other house. You didn't hear that bang? A bang? Yeah. All right, let's listen in. There might actually be somebody upstairs. Hello. What's 
what's in here? There's no way there's someone in here without a light. Like it's pitch black in here. Completely boarded up. You gotta be nuts to be in here without a flashlight, right? I think I'm gonna hold on to this again. Let's go upstairs, dude. Right yeah. Really cool. Alright, well I'm gonna go check out upstairs, okay? Yeah, yeah. I got a weapon with me, just in case. Oh, oh somebody's definitely living here. Cooking up some meth in here. Whoa, there's like a knife there. Some eggs. They were made up, they made eggs in here. Look at that. You definitely had someone living in this room over here for a, a period of time. I don't think they're here anymore. But. Got the foil for their crack addiction. Freaking crackers, man. They always come in and mess up the place. Leave us with no videos at all. Oh, cool. Look at that blue sky. Yeah, nothing in here. It's an empty room. And some blue sky is pretty cool. If this little house is this, like, tiny and it's got all this in it, I can't wait to see what that giant Victorian has. What is this? Oh, what the hell? That's so weird. I am the... something? Oh, I am the owner. This was a fraud. I'm the real owner. Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna blur out the phone number. There's a phone number on the back of that. Stay out. New owners. Oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not gonna see the city. Remember the house we found the fentanyl in? I don't remember the fentanyl. It was the pill format or something, and they were squishing it or something, or it was patches. Sorry, it was patches or something. Yeah, you're right. I remember that one house with all the fentanyl. <laughs> hey, this bedroom is actually clean. That's pretty cool. What? All right, well, I think this is it for this house, except the basement. We're gonna go check out the basement. And then we're gonna make our way to that Victorian. I'm so terrified because the way to get in is this small hole through the ground that we're gonna have to squeeze in. And I took a peek in there earlier and it was terrifying looking, like old school vibes. So fingers crossed that there's nobody in there and definitely no demonic entities as well. All right, here we go. It's time to make our way down to the basement. This was a cool one. We do the basement and then jump to the Victorian. Oh my God, that mold smell. Oh yeah, this place is trash, dude. It's pretty cool though. I don't want to spend too much time because of the mold smell. Look at the moldy walls over there. Holy moly, it's gross in here. I think I've built up enough courage to make my way to the Victorian now. As we've made it to the Victorian, as you can see, there's a mattress out here. Somebody could have been living here or this probably was maybe inside this place, but we're about to go inside and, and see for ourselves. Oh, that looks friggin' terrifying. Oh my God. All right, let's go in, shall we? As you guys can see, we are in the creepy Victorian. I got a nice fork here just in case. What? It's broken. Yeah, but it's got one sharp, sharp edge left. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, this place is cool. It is not as destroyed as that other place. For the record, every door window is locked except the place that we came in from. So if there is no one in here, we're going to get the stick. 
I'm gonna keep this on me. It's a creepy house. This reminds me of Tom's house, man. Very old. Look at the ceilings. Oh my god. Whoa. This used to be a staircase and they turned it into a pantry. Just like Tom's old. This is identical to Tom's old house. What the hell? Like literally, if Tom had a storage here. Oh, uh, this is this goes upstairs. Okay, maybe not a storage. But Tom had a Tom's original house had a storage, kitchen, had a room in there, and then he had a staircase on this side. Dude, this layout is very identical to Tom's old house. Yeah, even like in here. Do you guys remember Tom's old house? The way the walls were. This kind of, kind of reminds me of it. Well, there's three different staircases we can go. I've got this with me just in case. I'm not taking any chances. Lately, we've been going to all these abandoned houses and they're just full of like squatters and they've been like so violent and shit. All right, let's go upstairs. Keep your eyes wide open. Maybe there's some paranormal activity happening in here. Oh, definitely a squatter was living here. Carlo's gone upstairs. I'm still kind of like searching through this place. You guys, now I'm going to save the basement till the end. And I did see another staircase on this end. For the record, every door. Boarded shut. No way in and out. Literally risking my life to give you guys this content, okay? Please smash the like button and get yourself some of the awesome Live A Little merch right here. Go ahead and get it right now. Links are going to be down below, mosrg.shop. Let's go upstairs now. You know, you know, now that I think about it, this house reminds me of the Game Master's house from Project Zorgo from years ago. It is kind of a similar layout. Actually, kind of almost identical. Oh my God, it is. Do you guys remember that video? Project Zorgo, Game Master's? This is what it reminds me of, holy crap. This is just crazy. The other house reminded me of that drug mansion. This house reminds me of Project Zorgo house. The barn had some Steve the Clown apparel in it, but at least this one isn't as destroyed as the other one. So it's kind of good. Oh, there's another kitchen. I guess this house was sectioned off like different apartments, right? Doors locked, obviously we're stuck in here. You encountered anything paranormal yet? There's an attic. There's an attic. Oh, good luck up there. That's where all the creepy shit usually happens. While Carlo is up in the attic, I'm gonna search these rooms a little bit more thoroughly. Because you just never know what's lurking in the shadows. Kind of nervous? I bet that attic isn't even that big. Carlo, was that you knocking? What? Was that you knocking? No. I heard a knocking come from over here. Oh, fuck. Now I'm on edge. Cause I legit heard a knocking coming from this area here. Yo. Yo. That wasn't you knocking at all? I don't know, that came from the other fucking room. Alright. Sound like something running through here. Hello? Any spirits in here? If there's anything in here with me. Can you appear or move something? Cause I can crack you on the frickin' head with my frickin' schlong. Okay, that's Carlo. The noise you heard, you heard it too, right? Yeah. That wasn't from upstairs? No. That, that came from this green room over here with the green carpet. Maybe I should bust out the spirit talker, you guys. All right, I got the spirit talker scanning here in my pocket. Put, some, put my volume up. 
All right, let's see if we get anything. Hey, spirits, are there any spirits in here? You want to communicate with me? <gasps> Elijah. Elijah. That was really quick. Who's Elijah? Are you the spirit that I just heard running in this room? Yeah, I heard something coming from this room. Elijah, who's Elijah? Talk to me. Do you know my name? Oh, weak. Do you have weak energy? Weak. Well, you're welcome to take energy from my friend Carlo. I got lots. You got lots? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> you can take some of his energy. Would you like to do that? So we're here to check out this place and explore it. Are we in any danger by you? By us being here? Yeah, I heard a, a loud bang in here, and it's like something ran across the carpet. Mm -hmm. I that, heard the brand running. You heard it too from yeah, upstairs? Yeah. I thought it might have been by me, but it could have been down here. I have no idea. Oh, wow. Oh, I just got really dizzy all of a sudden. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck? Yo. Whoa. Oh, my God. Something's happening. I'm really <clears throat> dizzy all of a sudden. Yeah. Weak. I feel really fucking weak. Holy shit. Okay. Camera down. Oh my god. I feel so weird. Do you need water maybe or something or just No, I think I think what whatever this is is pulling energy <clears throat> from me. Why are you pulling energy from me? Oh. Because What the f Because you want to pull energy from you. What? Oh my god. That's crazy. Dude, that was like, I, I asked and it really replied right away. Oh, that's, oh my God. Oh, I feel very weird. Like, I feel dizzy. There's pr plenty of ventilation in here, even though everything's boarded up, kind of. <laughs> I think there's some ventilation in here. Yeah, it's not that. It's literally this. I said, take, the, I said, take, knocks? huh? What were the knocks and bangs? It was something, something ran in here. A hundred percent, there's something paranormal in here. I mean, it's an old 1900s house, bro. People have no, died. That, that can you, can, can we listen to something that you're going to say? It says here. <coughs> Who's here? What is your name? <coughs> it says, I think maybe here, maybe for other things or. Or he, it's here. Or it's here. Uh, we were talking about something running in here. Yeah. Oh shit! I didn't realize my light was off. Yeah, I just, <clears throat> I just feel really weird all of a sudden. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Are you gonna keep pulling energy from me? Because I don't want to fall on all the rubbish in here. <gasps> what? This is cursed land. Shit! What the fuck? Is that why it's abandoned? Is that why all the houses here are abandoned? Cursed land. <sighs> Yo guys, I think we're gonna get out of here. I wanna go up to the attic, attic and then the basement and then we can leave. Did we go in the basement already? No. Oh shit. Something was creaking behind you just now. Are you here in the hallway? Where are you standing right now? <clears throat> oh shit. Conjure. It's conjuring up over here, dude. Oh boy. It's pulling energy from me. You don't feel weak? I feel really weak. I feel really sick. You feel sick? Yeah. Why you open up shit before getting into this house? Yeah, guys. Literally, as we were coming into this house, Carlo randomly started puking outside of the house. There was no reason for it, and he just really did. Oh, bro. Are you okay? Dude. Are you okay? Man, he's been doing this for like three minutes since we got to the freaking Victorian. Are you okay, man? I am now. Jesus, what happened? Okay, I'm gonna go check out the, the attic. Can I go up to your attic? Are you gonna be conjuring up in your attic or something? Please don't push me down the stairs, they're really big. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is a creepy old attic. Oh my God. Definitely someone's been living up here. Are you up in this attic? This is like one of those attics from like horror movies. Oh, what is that? Something's moving over there. What the hell 
was that? Horses. Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, horses, cool. Cool, f*** your horses, you scared me. Oh, that's so creepy. What the hell? Who does this picture belong to? This is terrifying. I've never seen anything like this before. Who does this picture belong to? Who is this in the picture? I'm not getting anything. Oh, look at this old. Is this a ritual? That does look like a ritual. You're right. I did think about that. That's a ritual. Were you summoned or conjured up on the ritual? I'm going to leave this in my pocket. I'll leave it recording, guys. That's crazy. I, it did occur to me in my mind that this might be a ritual. Like, you got the blocks there, this bowl, a shot glass, some string. I don't know. It could be a ritual. Camera. Yeah, I'm holding a camera. That's what I'm holding right now. Friendship. Happiness consists in knowing that the world is good and true. Though I really didn't know it till I found Adele, till I found a pal like you. That's cool. Leave that right there. So there's some things left behind in this house. Nothing major. Some mattresses, obviously. A rocking chair. Oh my god, that's creepy. All right, I'm gonna leave your attic now. Is that okay? I'm gonna go down to the basement. Equal. Do you know what a basement is? These are some strange stairs, man. My friend sent me a, his videos or his pictures from his house. Yeah. It doesn't look like anything like it was about a year ago. Really? It's trash compared to what he got. Yeah. He got it pretty much almost untouched. Wow. And when he came here, the windows <coughs> weren't boarded up, right? Wow. The front door is open. That's why when he told me that the front door should be open, but yeah. obviously it's not. It's definitely not. All right, let's make our way down to the basement, Carlo. Making our way down to the creepy basement. Oh, that's freaking creepy. <clears throat> definitely a creepy basement. I love coming to the basement because they're always creepy. You just never know what you're going to find. And this one, lots of mold, but you know what? We'll be quick. How awesome is that? I gave you guys two houses in one video. And a, and a farm. Or a barn, I should say. Yeah, there's not much. It's just... It smells like chemicals down here. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they were cooking something up out here, right? A lot of these old houses, they used to cook up their own alcohol and shit. Yeah, there's not much. Damn. <clears throat> Spirit Talker just said it. it's scary here. Definitely is scary. Tell you that. Okay. <clears throat> the staircase looks a little bit wobbly too. Bro, it just asked me for my name. I'm not gonna tell you my name. You're gonna have to guess it. Imagine it says my name. That'd be fucking weird.